All right, Stockmaster fans, going back to the Emmanuel well once again. Trying to get through this Natasha Vermeer um, Emmanuel collection. It's the number, number five on this one, The Art of Ecstasy. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with Alex. He is a drawer. He's using charcoal to uh, paint some woman. A woman that he decides to bed down with a few minutes later. Here's his agent Dana. He's having artist block. What? I am going to devote the rest of my career to sketches animated by the force of the female orgasm. That sounds like a plan. Well, if that's what you need to do to continue to work as your manager, I support you. Yeah, thank you for understanding. I mean that, thank you. But he needs a sex tutor for this. You've never met my friend Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel is currently in Brazil having sex with some guy amongst this bamboo. But if a sex tutor is needed, you know she's going to come calling. It was a pleasant surprise to discover that your friend Alex wanted to eternalize in art. What I've spent my life trying to understand. The transcendent power of sexual ecstasy. It's time for these two to meet. She has come to L.A. Manuel basically tells a story in which we see a woman having sex. A bolt of lightning in the sky that struck deep into the Earth's ocean. It created a tidal wave that laid everything to waste. So Alex and Emmanuel are both having basically the same dream of a threesome, I'll go set up your coffee for you. which we saw. Use some clay. Like touch her, but to caress her. But I haven't used clay since I was a kid, and even then I preferred to eat it. We need at least two subjects in order to study form. Come on, girls, wait. Here come some naked ladies. I first met him. She's attracted to Alex. Is Dana? But how come you guys have never dated? I'm not as tight. But how do you know? Have you ever asked him out? No way. He's around women all the time. He'd never be interested in me. Yeah, right. What would you do with a cow like you? So now Emmanuel knows that uh, Alex and Dana could perhaps be a couple. I asked Alex why after seeing two women together, he reduced his rupture to a single pair of breasts. Breasts that looked nothing like those of the models. He didn't have an answer for me. And then we're treated to a dream sequence featuring Alex and Emmanuel.
It was just a dream, though. Nothing happened between the two, even though they spent the night together in a hammock. Fresh coffee! Which Dana gets jealous over. Dana, wait, let me explain. Dana! I can't reach her on the phone. Why'd she hang up? It was her answering machine. Why won't she pick up the phone? She's hurt. But that's silly. Why would she be hurt? Even if something happened between us, which it didn't, why would she be hurt? I don't know. You tell me. She spoke to me yesterday about how you two met. Something about jogging. Anyway, the next training session involves observation, in which she watches some guy give a lady a massage, and then they end up doing it. You Manuel tries to ex explain things. You expect me to believe that? I can't believe that Howard sent you to bring me flowers. Well, he doesn't know I'm here. The flowers are for me. What, an apology? Yes. Why are you apologizing if nothing happened? Well, I'm apologizing for the misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding. I hired you. It's not your fault. It's mine. I never wanted to admit that I had feelings for Alex, but now that I have, it's, it's too late. Dana, it's not too late. Yes, it is. If nothing happened between the two of you, it's only a matter of time before. He has feelings too. I'm in love with her. What's even worse, I didn't realize that I loved her until she was gone. Alex, do you know why I've spent most of my life learning about sexuality and sex? So Dana comes to Alex. And I guess they're a couple now. And the next morning, Emmanuel is gone. They realize they don't need her anymore, though. I have been searching for the perfect model for so long. The woman meant to be my muse. Now that Emmanuel's gone, you feel you lost her. <sighs> no, now that she's gone, I found my muse. Yes, the woman I've been drawing since the first day I met her. My God, Dana, it's taken me so long to come to you. It's you, baby. It's always me. All right, welcome to Sunday morning. Just got up and watched Emmanuel, The Art of Ecstasy. What do we have here? It's the uh, fifth movie in this Emmanuel private collection, which was a series of new Emmanuel movies uh, starring Natasha Vermeer. These are official Emmanuel movies. Uh, we have a movie here, a guy named Danny Pape. He's the actor here. Uh, looks like he's in a lot of softcore stuff. He may have done some hardcore. It's hard to tell on IMDb, but anyway... He is a, an artist. He draws with uh, charcoal, it looks like. And he's having the artist's um, equivalent of writer's block. He's having trouble. So he decides he's going to focus on the uh, woman's orgasm. And that's going to give him the inspiration. So in order to help him with this, uh, his agent, Dana, decides to hire her friend, Emmanuel, who is obviously renowned as the sex expert around the world. So anyway, she comes to L.A. and uh, basically teaches him I don't know what she teaches them. <laughs> all, all it is is uh, a, a series of scenes where, where people have sex. He watches people have sex. There's a massage going on. And somehow this helps him open up and become whatever he is that he's going to become. And during this process, he realizes that he's in love with his agent, Dana. And, of course, Dana gets jealous when he sees the two of them together on a hammock. But nothing happened, although something did happen in that dream sequence prior to uh, that hammock scene. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Manuel makes good with Dana and says, you got to come back over. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Blah, 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 blah. 
um, uh, the, the uh, Alex, the uh, Danny Pape guy, he uh, realizes he's in love with Dana, and Dana comes over, they screw in the bed, and they live happily ever after. End of story. So, there you go. Again, uh, it's 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 an Emmanuel movie, and it's, at least it had a plot that you could somewhat follow. Although it wasn't, you know, the greatest acting in the world, it wasn't the greatest anything. But uh, the ladies in this movie, there's plenty of nudity. They're lovely. Uh, we have we have a crotch shot in this movie too, uh, which you didn't see when you saw these types of things on cable, but you saw it in this one here. And uh, like I said, the ladies are beautiful. So that's the only reason why this stuff is even palatable. You can't get through this crap if it wasn't for the nudity. Um, because overall, the movies aren't great. But whatever, right? We don't watch it for that. We watch for the naked ladies. And that's that's why I have this. So anyway, uh, she made seven of these movies. And I have all seven of them on this collection here. It's a, uh, I think it's a Polish DVD set uh, with an English soundtrack. Uh, Polish soundtrack too, if you want it. And this probably runs you about 50 bucks or so if you're trying to find it. It is out of print and it is hard to find. But if you do happen to find it, that's what you're going to pay for it. So anyway, it's um, it's Emmanuel, The Art of Ecstasy. If you're interested in watching it, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. And if you do, let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We will discuss it. Emmanuel, The Art of Ecstasy. Check it out. Bye.